the budget itself isn't going to have much effect on economic growth either for or against. So looking forward, we're very much dependent on what happens overseas. The budget itself isn't going to create much in the way of new jobs, new growth or new investment. If you look at the two big highlight items, big cut in corporation tax and a new employment allowance for small firms, I'm afraid neither of those is likely to be very effective. We know that corporation taxes don't work very well, and I think this national insurance thing could actually turn out to be rather wasteful and expensive. Much better to invest it in new technology, innovation and workforce skills. While we welcome the endorsement of the Chancellors today of the Heseltine Review, and in particular the single pot of for funding to support local growth, the proposed measures are not going to come into effect until before the next general election. Yet our research suggests that uh, local enterprise partnerships, unless they're given the resources and the funding now to make tangible headway to tackling you know, the, the very large challenges that they face, businesses are likely to walk away. Moreover, we have not as yet had any indication of the level of funding that is likely to be devolved. However, indications, indications suggest that it will be significantly less than the £49 billion Heseltine suggested was necessary. I don't think this was a budget for jobs. Um, if you look at what happened this morning with some of the employment data that came out, actually it showed that the labour market recovery appears to be weakening. And I think in that context there was a real onus on the chance to do something in today's budget, you know, to really ensure that we had sustainable recovery in the labour market. If you look at what was announced, the flagship measure was an employment allowance, which is essentially a national insurance cut for, um, for firms. Now the problem with those sorts of, um, those sorts of policies is they have quite high deadweight costs. So actually what you're doing a lot is subsidising things that would have happened anyway. I think looking at what, what the Chancellor announced today, um, and in the context of you know, a, a weaker recovery than we've experienced previously, and squeeze on real wages, and particularly in the context of rising youth unemployment, actually what we needed was more specific and targeted employment policies in the budget. In the last few years, the government has been rightly recognising the importance of using an industrial strategy to hone down and focus on particular areas of the economy. The budget today now gave an allocation of about up to 180 million a year to focus and advance this effort over a long period of time. But the trouble is that this 180 million is actually small in comparison to the other monies that they managed to find to unlock growth in the economy. But actually, we think the bit that they should be focusing on is the industrial strategy. So 180 million versus 2.5 billion for corporation tax cuts and national insurance um, allowance is, um, is actually quite a small amount. So we would have liked to have seen much more spent on the, um, on the growth strategy and less on these more traditional measures. There is currently a gap in the lending market by SMEs of at least £30 billion. The government can address this gap through its Business Bank initiative. Today, the government announced £300 million in non-bank lending for SMEs and £75 million in venture capital funds for new innovative startups. This is a step in the right direction, but nowhere near enough to address the gap in the lending market. 